फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल रवि फिजिक्स विद्या एंड माय ऑफलाइन कोचिंग सेंटर विद्या एजुकेशन एट सूरत गुजरात फॉर जेई नीट एंड फाउंडेशन पार्क फॉर द बेस्ट तो राइट नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड सॉल्विंग सीरीज एंड चैप्टर नेम इज द फ्रिक्शन ओके एंड प्रेजेंटली इन दिस चैप्टर आई एम डिस्कसिंग काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन डबल ब्लॉक प्रॉब्लम्स एंड सॉल्विंग तो प्रेजेंटली आई एम डिस्कसिंग टॉपिक फ्रिक्शन एक्चुअली वॉट इज द फ्रिक्शन सी सपोज वन ब्लॉक इज केप्ट ओवर एनी सर्फेस देन वॉट हैपन्स एक्चुअली देर इज द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फोर्स बिटवीन द टू सर्फेसेस इन कॉन्टैक्ट बिटवीन द चार्ज पार्टिकल्स ऑफ द टू बॉडीज प्रेजेंट इट there is the electromagnetic force and one one force is along the surface and another force is the perpendicular to the surface the the horizontal force is known as the frictional force actually frictional force is nothing it is the uh, contact force you can say it is the horizontal component of the uh, contact force okay and this is the normal force here what is this normal force we can say it is the perpendicular component of the contact force and total net force is the r r is equal to what here under root f square plus n square okay this is called contact force okay and one thing more it is not necessary net contact force is always perpendicular to the surface it may be oblique here particularly see in this case this is the oblique actually if uh, surface is smooth then frictional force zero and normal force and uh, net contact force will be same and it will be perpendicular to the surface but if a uh, normal force and frictional force both are available then resultant force a yeah, contact force will be oblique and it is quite obvious if body has the mass definitely normal force is always available yes frictional force may be zero uh, it depends upon if surface is smooth then it is zero and if surface is not smooth then it is Uh, it has the component okay so finally we are getting r is equal to f square plus n square what is f here frictional force what is n here normal force so then what we can say about the frictional force it is the horizontal component of the contact force it is the horizontal component of the contact force okay and normal force is the vertical component of the contact force okay uh we do a question a uh, box a is lying on the horizontal floor uh, of the compartment of a train uh, running along horizontal uh, rails <coughs> horizontal rails left to right left to right at the time it decelerates then the resultant contact force r may be r by the floor on the box is given by options are given 1 2 3 4 okay uh means uh, this is the floor here and this is the compartment of the train and uh, um, a block a box a is lying on the horizontal floor of the compartment of the train and in this compartment of the train a box is kept right so then we are interested to find the direction of the contact force resultant force one thing more uh, we see that actually uh, it is given that um, compartment of the train is running along the horizontal rails left to right okay left to right and it decelerates so what is the direction of acceleration direction of the acceleration will be right to left okay right to left and if observer is inside the inside the compartment then he is in the non inertial frame okay he is in the non inertial frame then there will be pseudo force on the box and that will be left to right left to right and friction will be right to left see this is a direction of frictional force and this is the normal force then resultant force will be in this direction and according to required option is third now types of the friction 
there are the two types of the friction kinetic friction and static friction now what is the kinetic friction actually kinetic friction uh, the friction force in the action when a body slides with respect to another body right kinetic friction does not oppose the motion actually it opposes the relative motion whenever we are discussing kinetic friction on block kept on any surface then direction is decided by motion of the block with respect to the surface in the contact right uh, actually kinetic friction is not opposed to the applied force it is opposed to the relative motion and what about the magnitude of the kinetic friction magnitude of the kinetic friction is directly proportional to normal force acting between the two bodies fk is directly proportional to normal force and fk is equal to mu k n mu k is the coefficient of the kinetic friction acting between the two bodies it is a given for the pair of the bodies right mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction it is the independent of fk and n the ratio of the fk by n is the constant and it is equal to mu k means what you can by mu k mu k is equal to fk by n and mu k has the new no unit okay because mu k is equal to fk by n mu k has no unit <clears throat> its value depends on the nature of the surface in the contact it is independent of area fk and normal force question uh, a smooth block is released at rest on 45 degree inclined and then slides a distance d the time taken to slide is n times as much to slide on the rough inclined plane uh, than on the smooth inclined plane then coefficient of the friction is given by mu s is equal to 1 minus 1 by n square mu s is equal to under root 1 minus 1 by n square mu k is equal to 1 minus 1 by n square and fourth mu k is equal to under root 1 minus 1 by n square <clears throat> question uh, is given that the time taken in the case is a smooth block is suppose that t then time taken uh, to slide in the rough block same distance is the n matlab i can take in the first case t1 and second case t2 then t2 is equal to n t1 and we are interested to calculate the coefficient of friction so it is quite obvious body is sliding that's why there will be not a mu, mu s mu s is the coefficient of a static friction when body does not slide uh, but here uh, if body is sliding that's why it will be mu k okay and we see a bd uh, this is the block and theta mg this is the mg cos theta this is mg sin theta normal force and this is the fk so what is the acceleration in downward direction a is equal to net pulling force by total mass net resultant force mg sin theta minus uh, fk fk will be what here uh, mu k n means mu k mg cos theta divided by m so finally i am getting a is equal to g sin theta minus mu k cos theta a is equal to g under bracket sin theta minus mu k cos theta on in the case if surface is a smooth mu k term cancelled a1 is equal to g sin theta and in the case rough surface a2 is equal to g under bracket sin theta minus mu k cos theta s1 half a1 t s square actually s is equal to u t plus half a t s square to u0 s2 is equal to half a2 t2 s square so actually from 1 and 2 distance is the same half a1 t1 s square half a2 t2 s square half cancel a1 t1 s square a2 and what i can write t2 t2 is equal to n t1 already given in the question so then solving uh, a1 by a2 t1 t1 square cancel a2 by a1 is equal to 1 by n square and we can also write uh, by n square a2 g sin theta minus mu g cos theta and a1 it is the g sin theta so final we are getting and theta is equal to 45 degree so then i am getting the result 1 by root 2 value putting value putting here mu k by root 2 1 by root 2 1 by n square solving mu k 1 minus 1 by n square answer now a static friction so now this is another type of the friction already i have discussed kinetic friction 
actually a static friction is the, the frictional force in the action when a body does not slide with respect to another body this is called a static friction right actually a static friction is the self adjusting it adjusts its magnitude and direction to maintain relative rest nest between the two bodies main key point is this is relative rest when a static friction acts there is a relative rest uh, between the two bodies means a body is rest with respect to another body okay uh, it may be both bodies are moving but there is a relative rest restness uh, between two bodies means we have to discuss what relative restness matlab rest of the upper body with respect to uh, lower body right however uh, the friction force uh, it adjust actually uh, friction i already tell or uh, told you uh, the static frictional force is the self adjusting force it depends upon the driving force as soon as as well as a uh, driving force is increasing a uh, frictional a static frictional force is also increasing but yes it has a maximum value it has a limiting value it cannot go beyond that maximum right and the maximum static friction Uh, that uh, a body can exert on the other body is called the limiting friction limiting friction is nothing it is the maximum value of the static friction if driving force is greater than the limiting friction then body starts to move and fk comes into action right fk comes into action suppose this is the body here and any variable force f acting driving force variable force is acting over it and coefficient of friction mu s and mu k and this is the frictional force what happen if a driving force is zero then frictional force is also zero if driving force is increasing then it is also increasing and means uh, cert, up to certain time um, frictional force is directly proportional to the driving force means uh, equal to the driving force you are seeing uh, this is the straight line right and finally means a uh, friction force is in the three mode rise peak and constant initially it is in a rising mode and it is it adjust the frictional force adjust its value equal to driving force and then it comes into under peak value peak value or limiting friction it is called mu s n and if driving force it increases corresponding uh, force then frictional force then body starts to move and fix kinetic frictional force come into action and it becomes constant and it will be fk and in that case acceleration will be f minus fk by m f is driving force right and maximum value of the fl is equal to mu s n and static friction fs is less than or equal to mu s n right mu s is equal to fl by n don't write mu s is equal to fs by n because this is the inequality it may be less than or equal to mu s n so don't write f s is equal to mu s by n if actually mu s is equal to uh, f l by n mu s is not equal to f s by n okay uh, question a block of the mass 4 kg is kept on the ground the coefficient of friction between the block and the ground is 0.8 and an external force of the magnitude 30 newton is applied parallel to the ground the resultant force exerted by the ground on the block is g is equal to 10 meter per second square options are given i see this is the 4 kg block weight is the 40 normal force m and external force 30 newton uh, n is equal to 40 here and we are checking fs maximum mu s n it is 0.8 into 40 it is 32 newton so fs maximum but actually frictional force acting it is not necessary it will be equal to fs max it may be less than or equal to this always keep in the mind there is a inequality involvement so we are observing at our driving force is less than fs max it means our frictional force is in the rising mode and in that case it will equal to be the driving force that's why f is equal to 30 newton okay 
and resultant under root f square plus n square under root 40 square plus 30 square root that will be 50 newton clear next question uh, a bead of the mass m is located on a parabolic wire with its axis vertical and vertex directed towards uh, downward and whose equation is given by x square is equal to ay if the coefficient of friction is the mu the highest distance above the x axis at which the particle will be in equilibrium right uh, means uh, uh, this is the wire here and we are interested for this height at what is the maximum height where it can be located to bearing the given coefficient of friction mu uh, means uh, if uh, we are interested for maximum height means uh, the body will be the frictional force will be uh, equal to fl means the uh, maximum frictional force will be applied here right Options are given mu a mu a square a 1 by 2 1 by 4 mu a square 1 by a is a, actually constant it is given that x is equal to a y a square the equation of the parabola here and we know that uh, if a body is under uh, limiting equilibrium uh, tan theta is equal to mu here tan theta is equal to mu right when a body is under limiting equilibrium then tan theta is equal to mu theta is called angle of repose and mu is the coefficient of the friction it is the relationship between means the maximum angle of the inclination for which a body is in equilibrium is given by tan theta and it is equal to mu and mathematically tan theta is nothing it is the dy by dx i take the coordinate x and y here and already y is equal to 1 by 2 1 by a x square now differentiating dy by dx 1 by a 2x means 2x by a and i can put the value of uh, x under root uh, ay and divided by a solving here x is equal to under root ay and so this tan theta is uh, less than or equal to mu and already we have got 2 under root ay by a less than mu and a square in both sides solving y should be less than equal to a mu a square by 4 this is the maximum value right maximum value question if the coefficient of uh, friction between a and b is mu the maximum horizontal acceleration uh, of the waves for which b will permanent uh, will remain at rest with respect to wedge right actually this is the wedge here and uh, there is an acceleration in this direction and a block is kept over it and we are interested for maximum acceleration such that block is in rest actually uh, if a uh, wedge accelerates uh, here uh, it will face pseudo force in opposite direction and due to which uh, it can slide in upward direction uh, but uh, we are interested for it should be in the rest and uh, we are interested for the value of the a mu g g1 plus mu and options are there right so we are observing the c uh, actually our target of the question is this block should be raised with respect to wage that's why i am solving this problem uh, with respect to wage here my frame of reference with the wage i am on over this wage i am on this wage and uh, if i am on this wage and already it is accelerating in this direction means my frame is accelerating in right direction it is the non-inertial frame that's why it uh, on the system i will uh, attach extra force ma pseudo force this is the mg this is the mg sine theta this is sorry this is mg sine theta this is the mg cos theta and this is the ma and this is the ma cos theta ma sine theta this is the normal force right and normal force is equal to what here ma sine theta plus mg cos theta this ma sine theta mg cos theta means that there is the extra component ma sin theta in downward direction and now it is raised with respect to wedge so that's why frictional force will be act in this direction and uh, f plus mg sin theta is equal to ma cos theta now f is equal to mu n and uh, plus m actually the block is under limiting friction right uh, because uh, we are interested for maximum acceleration in that direction 
okay mu and mu n plus mg sin theta is equal to ma cos theta mu n ma sin theta plus mg cos theta plus mg sin theta is equal to ma cos theta <coughs> so now solving uh, a is equal to g sin theta plus mu g cos theta by cos theta minus mu sin theta and putting theta is equal to 45 degree we can get the answer this is the mathematical calculation now double block problem actually double block problem uh, is important uh, one block is uh, kept on other, another block so in that part uh, we check uh, they are moving together or move separately and for that part we make the abd of the body separately and particularly one thing more uh, in that case whenever you are uh, putting the uh, we are uh, labeling the uh, different various forces so just uh, indicate the static friction by a small f as it is unknown let uh, both uh, move together and check availability of the required friction okay, how much friction is it required actually and for that part i am just uh, discussing a problem here uh, see uh, this is the uh, block a and block b having mass 10 kg 10 kg and driving force f external force 50 newton is applied over this and uh, mu is equal to 0 0.5 and this surface is a smooth if a uh, value of the mu is only written you can it, it may be mu s or mu k both okay mu s is also 0 0.5 and mu k 0 point find the acceleration of the every block uh, system is initially at rest right so just uh, according to a strategy i make a bd a and b and i have told you just mention a here right this is the 50 of if i take a and this is the a and this is according to newton's third law if uh, over a friction force is in this direction so over b friction force in this direction right i take a uh, let uh, a and b move together so then acceleration of then uh, frictional force between the gap is the internal force just only driving force i am take the 20 kg total mass and a is equal to total external force 50 the frictional force in the gap will be internal force 50 by 10 plus 10 this is the 50 by 20 it is equal to 2.5 meter per second square i have supposed it it is not actual answer now i am confirming it is it they are moving or uh, moving together or not now fs maximum value is what here mu s n and 0 0.1 0 0.5 and what is the n here normal force uh, acting over the upper block and uh, normal force comes from the weight of the upper block this is the 10 10 g 100 this is the 50 newton okay maximum frictional force maximum frictional force is the 50 newton between the gap it will be maximum and for b part uh, you are observing that uh, in the clip see 